thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be me shopping my stash using some products that are really great for mature skin so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before i get into the video i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way if you're a returning subscriber i love you thanks so much for returning if you're new here i am bridget on this channel i do skincare makeup with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to have you join the family so i'm going to talk about some products that i feel would be really good for mature skin okay these are going to be products that have some skin loving ingredients in it these are going to be some products that don't have fragrance or alcohol these are going to be some products that don't dry out the skin these are going to be some products that are going to give us the most natural softest beautiful look when we go out in public in the daytime right that's what we want that's what we want and i feel as though i achieved that here yes i did a little bit extra on the eyes but outside of that the complexion i feel as though the complexion is very soft but the coverage is still it's still kind of a decent coverage so with all that being said i'll try to have timestamps below for you let's get into the first product okay so right here you see me putting on the beauty blender bounce always on radiant skin tints cute name right so with this particular tint it's going to give you a natural finish it does have hyaluronic acid in it it's also got niacinamide and willow bark extract which is going to visibly smooth brighten and reduce the look of irritation um, it's also going to do a good job of minimizing the appearance of pores and it's also got beta glucan which soothes and restores the skin this tint is very nourishing i feel as though it is buildable but probably to a light medium you're not going to get a lot of coverage although when you first use it you kind of get that impression because it is um i don't want to say it's thick but it's not as thin as your traditional skin tints you know when you think of a skin tint you think of something um very light thin uh, very fluid like this one um, it's kind of on the thicker side but it's actually beautiful on the skin and the finish is a very natural finish I do end up setting this tint up very lightly with a powder because I feel as though it's needed now if you use a very 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 small 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 uh, amount of it and probably set it with a setting spray um, if you have dry skin then you probably could use that but outside of that I feel as though this particular tint would definitely need some type of powder to set but it's absolutely gorgeous and you can look at it I mean it's really really pretty all right so next up I'm using the Kosas revealer super creamy brightening concealer and daytime eye cream historically if you're an OG you know that I have talked about this a million times but in here it seems like um, you know with so many products being pushed at us and pushed at us this one has kind of moved to the wayside but it is still good and definitely worth me mentioning to you all again this one has caffeine and pink algae and you'll notice that I do bring this concealer up on my lids uh, to cover up my eyes. I do that. I've never had any issues with it. And I find that since it does have caffeine in it, it does help with the puffiness. It also has hyaluronic acid and peptides with hydro which hydrate and visibly plump the skin. And it has Arnisa and Panthenol, which is the ultimate skin calming tool for blemishes and redness. And it's absolutely divine guys divine if you're looking for a really good concealer and you have mature skin this one is it I've used it for years never had an issue never had a problem but it does give a decent coverage and it feels so 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 good on the skin I mean look at it I think that it's really really pretty all right so next I'm going to set the concealer and I'm gonna use my Becca set and refresh powder in golden bronze and this particular powder isn't um, very brightening I decided kind of to kind of use uh, a little bit of a flesh tone 
powder so I really don't have that um, extra highlight or bright under eye thing going on that I normally do. Of course the concealer was lighter but I toned it down with the powder and I'm just going to apply that and anytime you're using powders on your, under your eyes if you can find a powder that has some type of hyaluronic acid in it or that's going to add some type of product that will keep the skin from drying out or hydrate the skin or whatever if you can uh, definitely choose those powders first uh, to set any under eye concealer that you wear and to set the tint I use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish setting powder and this particular powder has a medium coverage it does have rose wax and almond oil which will help to nourish soften and moisturize the skin it also has light reflecting pearlescent pigments which diffuse lights as it hits your face for a luminous complexion and if you have mature skin that's something that would really look pretty if you can pick a powder that is light reflecting of course a blurring powder a luminous powder something that's going to really soften up the skin and look at healthier uh, more hydrated and not parched and dry all right so next i'm going to bronze with my you sculpted universal contouring palette when i first bought this palette i used it over and over and over and over and over and i used the light powders as well i would set my under eyes with the light powder it does have talc free so if you're allergic to talc you don't have to worry about that it's infused with anti-aging collagen silk and peptides to blend effortlessly and deliver smooth natural looking coverage that lasts all day so if you're looking for a bronzer contour palette um, that has those good ingredients in it not only are the good the ingredients good but the way that the powder looks on your skin the lighter powder if you are my uh, complexion you can and you'd like a, high, a, a light or a bright highlight um, you can use those powders under your eye and it blurs really pretty these powders are phenomenal I have loved them if you go back in older videos you will see me using this palette over and over and over I still love it and it's still around it's still being sold um, on the it cosmetics website so it just kind of tells you that it's still good all right so for my eyeshadow I'm using the natural eyes eyeshadow palette so let me just explain I bought this palette years and years ago before I was on my um, ingredients fragrance kick okay this particular palette does have a fragrance it's infused with some kind of coconut butter formula but the reason that I think that it's good for mature skin is because it's got a Riza sativa in it it's a type of rice okay and this particular rice is good for sensitive skin it's also uh, good for skin that's easily irritated it acts uh, also as a smoothing conditioning agent I say that because this particular eyeshadow palette does not cause my allergies to act up my eyes do not burn when I use it the eyeshadow actually in person ha uh, gives a very smoothing appearance even with the metallic shadows some metallic shadows uh, when you put them on mature eyes so they're not all created equal let's just I'm just gonna be real not all of them are created equal but this one really does look pretty the drawback is the infusion of the coconut uh, butter I think that they have coconut oil in this particular palette but outside of that looks beautiful if you have like the crepey eyes or lots of wrinkles and things like that this is a super pretty palette plus um, it's a natural color story so it would look good on any skin tone hands down so as you can see I'm just kind of finishing out the look and this look is uh, as you can see turning out to be a very cool tone look which is fine you know I can do cool tone warm tone doesn't matter and it's funny and it's funny because outside of the eyes I think this could be like one of those no makeup makeup type of looks so next up I have the Kiko Milano smart essentials face palette all right so right here you can see me applying the blush and I feel as though I go a little bit ham but it's interesting because when you look at the um, the details of this particular blush or this particular palette 
it doesn't highlight what I see in the ingredients. Remember when I told you I like to flip things over and read and see what's in it? You know, just at least see if it has something good. I mean, of course the whole thing, it, it probably can't be, but I've noticed that it does have squalene in it in two of its colors. It also has grape extract in it. So that's why I was telling you in another video of mine when you're out there or researching your products, actually look and see what's in the products. And once you actually read and see what's in the products and you end up buying it, and if it works well with your skin type, that's something that you can make note of to maybe buy or not buy in the future. Okay. But what I can tell you about these particular powders Powders is that they um, are very thin, very silky type of powder. Uh, the highlight that I use uh, is a little bit light, I guess for my skin tone. I do go in and use my normal matte Sephora eyeliner. Um, I've talked about it and used it a hundred million times. I will probably always use it. You know, speaking of which, it seems like it is so hard to find a matte black eyeliner. That, that does dry matte. Like, anyway, I digress. <laughs> okay, so what's the next step? Right here, I'm just using a Benefit uh, pencil that I found at Marshall's, I think last year, and I bought a couple of them. Okay, so I'm doing that, putting on my brows. What else? And the lipstick that I used is by Maybelline. And the shade that I used is Nude Lust. And after that, I went over it with um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid uh, lip gloss in Sepia. So I just put a little bit of that gloss on. And the last product that I used is the Neutrogena Radiant Setting Spray. This is the Healthy Skin Setting Spray. And this particular setting spray has peptides in it. It's also formulated with antioxidant. And I also have to say, in reference to this particular setting spray, um, it doesn't have the, like the, you know how when you get some of the little inexpensive sprays from the drugstore, the the sprayer can be shoddy and just shoot out big balls and bubbles on your face and kind of ruin your makeup. This one doesn't do that. Of course, I always give it a test spray before I spray it on my face, but this one is very smooth. Now, is it as smooth as my Tarte Maracuja Mist? No, <laughs> it's not like that. But uh, considering what it is, it does uh, do pretty good. And that is pretty much it. That is my final look using some products that pretty much are underrated that you all, I felt as though you all need to know about these. So let me know what you think about the look down below in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Also, let me know if you've tried any of these and if you like them or if you don't like them. So that concludes the video. Thanks so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.